Let's leave them together. Then the Lord said to Moses, See, I have chosen the Salem, son of Rui, the son of Hur, of the tribe of Judah, and I have filled him with the Spirit of God, with skill, ability, and knowledge, and all kinds of crafts, to make artistic designs for work in gold, silver, and bronze, to cut and set stones, to work in wood, and, and to engage in all kinds of craftsmanship. Moreover, I have appointed Oholia, son of Ahisamak, uh, of the tribe of Dan to help him. Also, I have given skill to all the craftsmen to make everything I have commanded you. Amen. Hello. Hello. Sunday. Uh, how was your week? It was very sunny week, right? I went on a vacation this week. So I met my parents at my home in Gawando. And I also saw the people of the church I attended. I think it has not been long since then. So I feel time flies when I think about it. Our lives go by so quickly. It may be difficult at the moment, but I believe that everything will pass by in God's grace. I hope we can trust and rely on God in these difficulties. So I also hope we worship today with this mind. Today's word, what we led today, is the story about what happened in the process of making a tent for God. If the first part of the Exodus is literally about an escape from Egypt, then the middle part of them describes life in the desert. And the last part devotes a lot of space to building a tent for God. That's how important the tent is in the Exodus. Now, in creating the tent, Moses specifically selects two people. It's Bazale and Oholia. We usually think when we first read this text, why these two people? The question about what abilities made Bezalel and Oholia to be chosen by God continues throughout the Exodus. Furthermore, it is more questionable because all of these acts of Moses originated from God. It's in verse 2 and 6. See, I have chosen Bezalel, son of Uri, the son of Hor, of the tribe of Judah. Moreover, I have appointed Oholia, son of Isamak, of the tribe of Dan, to help him. There are two things we can guess about them. One of the question is bloodline, and the second is the question of ability. Let's first look at the blood. Were Bazal and Oholia born with so-called special fate, like the Levites who were responsible for moving the holy articles? Obviously, Bazal was descended from a famous family called the family of Judah, but Oholia did not. His family was not even famous, and he was the son of the man named Aisamak, a familiar to us. But the fact that they were both called by God, it means that it doesn't matter where they from come. We can see that God used his people regardless 
of their blood. So, secondly, what about the question of abilities? Obviously, Bezalel and Holiak were both have an abilities. Bezalel, son of Uri, the son of Hor, of the tribe of Judah, made everything the Lord commanded Moses. With him was Oholia, son of Isaac, of the tribe of Dan, a craftsman and craftsman and designer, and an <coughs> embroiderer in blue, purple, and scarlet yarn and fine linen. So, did their innate ability lead God to make them make the tent? What we need to be aware of is that their ability does not come from themselves. Uh, it's from Exodus chapter 36. So Bezalel, Oholia, and every skilled person to whom the Lord has given skill and ability to know how to carry out all the work of constructing the sanctuary we are to do the work just as the Lord has commanded. In other words, even the natural talent they had was given by God. Bezalel and Oholiab were chosen and were able to carry out all these tasks with the wisdom of God. So, what was the reason they were able to leave their name in this Bible if it was neither their origin nor their ability? The answer is their obedience. In fact, they were able not to listen to this command given to them even though it was God's command. Or, even if they listen, they may not have been able to show their skills properly, but Bezale and Oholia did their best to teach people and to help build the tent together. This cannot happen without full obedience. We can see that it was their obedience to the calling of God that made them capable workers of God. Dear members of Home Bible English Ministry, we sometimes think about the work given to us like this. How can I do this? I don't have any ability. Can I do this well? Especially in the work entrusted by the church, we feel a lot of pressure. When we are appointed as leaders of some group and as those who serve someone, the burden we feel is not small. But I hope we remember today's word. The Zale and Oholia were not elevated by their ability or origin. They were recorded in the Bible by obeying the calling through the power given by God. Even if we do not have any abilities, even if we are not special, we can be remembered by God for obeying God's word. Let us be grateful for what is given to us. And let us push it in obedience, believing in God's power. If we do that, God would allow his wisdom and power to us, as he has given to Bezalel and Oholia. May today's word be with us who live by day for the calling of God forever. Okay, let us pray together.
Heavenly Father, we thank you for loving us and protecting us during a week, especially keeping our life from terrible time and very hot weather. There are so many people suffered from many problems. Please make us pray for them and let us convey our, your love to them. We shared about the condition to work for God. We know that there are any needs for that, no ability or blood. There are only need obedience for doing your job. Please make us obey your word and please help us to lean on you in our every moment. Like the Zalel and Moholia, we went and we want to be your servant in our whole life. Please receive our prayer and request gladly. Thank you, Lord, and love the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.